Nachos. It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbara and Bike. Today I've got a few a grooves and shoulder workout that is meant to build up the width of those delts, make those shoulders look even broader, and make your waist look even thinner. Let's get straight into it. To begin this workout, we're gonna be starting off with our warm-up exercise to target all three heads of the deltoid, which will really help to build up the width of the shoulders and make them look like cannonballs. We're gonna be getting two sets of about 15 to 20 repetitions. You can choose that rep range right there for the clean and press. Now you'll notice for all the exercises we're going to be getting into here, I've added in a lot of repetitions. I've increased the time under tension. This is what I have personally noticed that I have applied to my own shoulder workout routines that has sincerely allowed me to grow the width of my shoulders. You should have seen my shoulders before this. They look like baby shoulders if you look back a year and a year and a half ago. So this stuff works and I'm super excited to share it with you. So after the warm up set is done, we're gonna be getting into our first two exercises which are going to be a superset. So you're going to complete exercise A, which is the incline lateral flies, uh, very first. And then directly after, with no rest, we're going to be getting into our second exercise to target the anterior head of the deltoids. Now we're starting off with this exercise right here, the incline lateral flies, because this is what's going to allow us to hit the medial head of the deltoid. Now when it comes to the width of your shoulders, this is the area that you want to focus on. So that's why we prioritize it at the beginning. Three sets, 12 repetitions. You'll notice that I'm on that sort of incline right there. Ever since I've applied this, and again, credits go to Seth Ferrosi for opening my eyes to this, the growth of my medial head of my deltoid has been absolutely insane because you're putting the muscle in direct line with gravity and that's actually how you're able to fully target that muscle group. Before I was trying to do it and I just wasn't able to stimulate that medial head of the deltoid when I was fully upright. A lot of my anterior head of my delt was getting targeted. So ever since I've been doing this, absolutely substantial growth. So impressed with this exercise. Look at the tempo, okay? I'm not swinging. I'm even adding in a slight little isometric hold at the peak of the contraction. Now again, no rest. We're gonna be getting into the second exercise of the superset to target the anterior head of the deltoid. Next, we're gonna be getting into some neutral grip front raises, again, with the dumbbells. Three sets of 12 repetitions. Now you'll see, look at this, look at this form. Look at the tempo, look at the control. This allows me to really target uh, the anterior head of my deltoid. This will help to allow you to build the full three-dimensional size of those delts, not just the width, because the width is great. The medial head of the deltoid is gonna take care of that. But without the anterior head of the deltoid and as well the rear head of the deltoid, you're gonna have some pretty weird looking shoulders. So by adding this in, we can help to develop the front end of the deltoid and actually add in a little bit of width too when somebody is looking at you from head on. So again, three sets of 12, you'll see the slight isometric contraction at the top. Uh, and then we're on to our next exercise to obliterate the posterior head of the deltoid. And to finish off the workout, we're gonna be getting into some wide grip rear delt rows for three sets of about 15 to 20 repetitions. This is a muscle group that really, really responds to high, high number of repetitions. So if you have it in, you try and aim for 20. If not, go for 15. Now you'll notice that my elbows are coming out nice and wide. This is what's going to allow me to hit the rear head of my deltoid. If I were to be pulling those in towards, you know, with my hands towards my hips, sort of like a regular dumbbell row, that's gonna target more of your lats and then take off a lot of the targeting from the rear deltoids. So by keeping them nice and wide, we're able to hit the rear delts. Now, while we're performing this, I'm bringing those dumbbells wide right there. This is just going to make uh, the leverage on the muscle group a little bit more difficult. And again, always the tempo is great. I'm doing a slight isometric contraction at the peak of the movement right there, 15 to 20 reps, Three sets, you maybe want to rest about 45, 60 seconds in between each one of these sets. And that concludes our full shoulder width building workout. So there you guys go, that concludes everything for today's video, width building shoulder workout. Could just title this for dumbbells too, because it's just incorporating dumbbells. So hopefully you like that little bonus. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to leave a comment down below saying avocado, just so that we can uh, kind of confuse everybody, all the viewers and all the other commenters, and also so I can see who made it this far. Also be sure to give the video a like if you liked the video, and be sure to subscribe because this is your first time to the channel. I don't know why that was such a tough thing for me to say right now. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next one.